Okay, so today, or rather in this video, we're going to be putting in the tuning pegs and the strings. So, uh, the idea here is to have there be guitar strings inside of the board so that when you bang a piece down, instead of just making this sound, it's going to kind of ring a little bit. There'll be, there'll be some music to it. So I have these old guitar strings. Um, they're metal, which I think will sound nice. I don't know. Um, so I've got a few different strings, and I have these tuning machines, like for a guitar. So it's like a tuning peg with a little hole right there that you can see. So that's where the guitar string goes, and then you can turn it. You know, with an, you know how guitar string. So. I have to find a way to mount these. I have no idea what I'm doing. So it's going to be it's going to be entirely my engineering ingenuity. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So one thing I'm going to say is that if this requires any sort of drilling, I will not be doing using a hand drill. I will bust out a power drill because I've done hand drilling before and it is the worst. I absolutely refuse. Yeah, so if this requires drilling, I'm, I'm gonna drill with a power drill. I'm not gonna use a hand like the heck no. I've used those kinds of things. I hate them so much. So just want to get that out there. So the guitar strings have a like a loop thing on the end. So I tried banging a nail through it into the wood, but instead of the nail going into the wood, it just pushed the ball into the wood. And yeah, that's not gonna stay. Uh, that, so that would never have stayed. So that's not going to work unless I can get nails that are thin enough that I can put them in actually through the holes because the nail I was using was pretty thick. Okay, so after testing another nail, which also didn't work, uh, I don't have a, any thin enough nails. I think what I'm just going to do is drill a little hole. And I am going to use the power drill, which I realize is kind of breaking what I said in the first video. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this in the intro thing. Um, I'm going to be trying to do this entirely with no power tools. So without any hand tools, but uh, I don't care. So I'm going to drill a hole through and then poke the entire wire through and then have the ball just rest up against the wood on the inside. Now, for the tuning machines, tuning pegs, I think they're called tuning machines. I have never put any of these things together before. I do not really know how it works. Um, it looks like there's... Okay, there's little screws there. That's good. And there's washers. Okay, so, for the tuning machines, we have the actual tuning machine. One of these little thingies. It's like a screw, but it's got a hole in it. Yeah. Uh, a washer. Yeah, whatever. A washer. And then this really tiny screw. Now, this tiny screw, it looks like it fits right through this little hole in the tuning machine. Screw. So, that's good. I guess that'll be how it plugs into the wood. Um, aha! That's cool. Okay, so I see how it's gonna work. I am gonna have to drill a hole again, so that's a bit of a bummer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I will put the tuning machine in through one side of the board, and then the little, the fat boy that we were talking about earlier, he'll go on the other side, and then screwing him in, because if you see, the fat boy fits. I don't know how easy this is to see. Fat boy fits right there, and he screws in. Okay, so I figured out my plan. Um, I'll explain it as I go. Right now, I just have to cut this thing into three pieces.
Okay, so basically here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to put the tuning machines into this board and then either glue or screw or both this board onto this small block. The block I'm going to glue into the inside of the board. Now the reason I'm gluing this block is because um, I don't want to have any screws poking through the outside of the board and screws that are just feeding into half inch wood is not going to be very strong and this is going to have to sustain a pretty good amount of pressure because of the guitar strings that will be pulled tight. On the other side I have this other block that I'm going to drill three holes in and that will be where the strings come out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with the power drill because like I said I don't hate myself. So yeah let's get that done. Success! It is coming through, and if I pull on it, the ball is not coming through. Now that will kind of squeeze into the wood a bit, but I do not think that it will uh, come all the way loose, or I don't think it will pull through rather, because there's a lot of wood there, and I think the chances that it gets all the way pulled through is basically next to nothing. Well, it works. Good stuff. So let's stick two more strings through and then I guess glue it in. Okay, so we have block with our three strings. You can just barely see this last one. So I'm going to go ahead and get the board up and um, start gluing this to the inside. Okay, so... Oh, that's right. By the way, uh, between this video and the last one, I did put these corner things in, but I didn't say anything about it because it was, like, not very interesting. I just clamped, glued them and clamped them, and that was it. So... Here's the fun part. We have these things, and these are going to have to be put in like that. Now, here's the thing I did not think about before. These balls actually are sticking out further than, right, like they're creating little bumps sticking out. So that's not going to work in terms of gluing. So I'm going to have to smash these down a little bit. So now it fits in quite nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this in and then clamp it. Alright, so I'm going to leave that clamped overnight, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Now for the other part, so we have to drill holes in this to put the tuning machines in, so let's get going, we have a block, ooh, I just realized I don't have C-clamps anymore, that's a bit of a problem. Oops. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. Excellent. There it is. And then we take the washer and then that. And we can start screwing it in. If you look super closely, 
you can see this part spinning when I turn this. So that's very good. Let me see if I can just screw it in with a screwdriver. All right, well, this is excellent. So now, if, so when the guitar string is gonna be pulling on this, it will be kind of pulling it sort of like unraveling. Like it's gonna be pulling more on one side than the, than the other. So it will be pulling to spin the whole tuning machine in its hole. Now, there are two reasons why this won't happen. Number one is that this uh, washer and the screw thingy is just pinching on the board really tight and it would take a lot of force to overcome that friction. The second thing is that this little secondary screw is actually driven into the board. So for this thing to turn, you would have to rip that screw through the wood. So I think the chances of that are very low and yeah. So that's, that should be totally fine. The string will be going across out of here and you can see the tuning peg does not get in the way of the string. So that's also good. Now I have to try to attach this thing to this board. Now, uh, the, this wood block is going to be stuck inside the board and it's gonna be glued both to the top and to the side. And then this board is gonna be stuck to this one. So this, we're looking at looking at the board upside down right now. <clears throat> so I do want to attach it this way with the pegs on the, looking at it like this on the top, once we flip it over and put it in the board on the bottom uh, so that I can get at the pegs without having to reach past the strings. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is glue it, clamp it, and then put a couple nails through just because the strings will be pulling on the uh, pegs out, sort of, a, it'll be trying to pull the board like this. So while I know that glue is very strong, just to be sure, I'm gonna put some metal down inside as well. So let's get to it. Glue both surfaces. Oh no, it dripped. Frick. All right, it is the day after, and so this will have finished drying, so will the other glue, so let's go ahead and take a look. It's only very strong, obviously. Rudy. We have the board here, put the strings in. What we're going to do is, so the um, pegs are going to go across from the board, which I just realized a little bit off -side. And then the wires, or the strings rather, are going to go... So I think I just go ahead and glue it in. I don't want it under tension from the wires though, from the strings. So I'm gonna have to make sure that it's not being pulled. So I wanna make these very loose. Yeah. You know, this is actually steady enough that we can go ahead and start tightening the uh, strings. Okay, it has been overnight since I set this to dry. So let's go ahead and take them off. Okay, so those are wildly out of tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them into. So I have to decide which chord I want. Okay, so that's like the bass guitar string. 
But that's why I'm doing this. And pull up what? Yeah, so that's an E. So if I want to do this, some kind of Asian sounding chord, I want to do it on the pentatonic scale. So let's try an E and then an A and then a C, and then we'll see how it goes. If that's not the right one. Um, let's try and change it up a little bit. Into like a D. Oh, it's definitely not wrong. Let's go back down to like a B. Ooh, that doesn't sound bad. There really should be one more, but oh well. Well, let's turn it over and bang on it and see how it sounds. All right, well, so it's hanging off the edge of the table a bit, so it should, if there is any sound echoing happening, it should come out the bottom. But let's give it a rest and hear it sounds. That worked so well, I'm so excited. I don't know if you can hear it. But the cord, it, it rings. I'm gonna bring this closer. And that is where I'll leave you for today. So, while making these videos, I realized that I don't actually really enjoy the process. So I'll probably not make videos documenting the process of the pie show board that I'll be making. I'll just make a cinematic video with it once I'm done making it. I'm going to try to stick to more narrative style pieces from here on out. They're more in my wheelhouse, and I enjoy making them a lot more than vlog style videos. I will, however, post a follow up video for this go board going over the finished product, so stay tuned for that. And as always, please consider subscribing. It's free for you and it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.